hey, have any of you all seen a strange group of people carrying a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they carry a baby around? Uh, all right, so you were standing in the middle of this alleyway. You just spoke to this woman. The spark, uh, this is a, a descriptor of the tavern that you're looking at. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Yes. And I want to be sure that despite the fact that we are out, we are kind of misfits. We are, but we do stick out like a sore thumb. I'm going to own it. <laughs> <laughs> when we wander up to and into that tavern, it's just another day in the park. Oh me. yeah, yeah. It's no, you, there's nobody. You're not going to bat an eye at the odd looks that everyone's going to be giving you guys. Now the fact that you're a dwarf, that's not as necessarily uncommon though they haven't seen a dwarf you just look like a small a small person you could be you could be a midget human for that matter but a turtle and, a prop- and a bird it's gonna be fucking weird it's gonna be fucking weird uh these Nobody sparse... better ask me for my id <laughs> <laughs> how old are you again are you over the age uh the sparse light from the building spills out from beyond uh, from beyond the drawn heavy curtains a sign on the door creaking on its hinges reads oops that's the wrong fucking one i am so sorry my bad let me try this again take two blood on the tavern uh a single shaft of light thrusts illumination into the main square its brightness looks like a solid pillar into the heavy fog above a gaping doorway a sign hangs precariously askew proclaiming this establishment to be the blood on the vine tavern uh, the tavern building is about 60 feet square. Close inspection of the sign itself reveals that it originally read Blood of the Vine. The N has been scratched over to instead have an F. Uh, so it is now Blood of the Vine instead of Blood on the Vine. Or, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. Uh... Uh, once a finely appointed tavern has grown shoddy over the years, a blazing fire in the in the hearth gives scant warmth and the, to the few few huddled souls within, whom you see as you enter this establishment. There is a barkeep uh, behind the bar. He is tall. He looks like uh, he looks like Lurch from the Adams family. He even makes those noises. Sounds like a a cow. You (laughs) drank. There is a a blondish gentleman, a dirty blonde gentleman, sitting in the corner. Uh, He has a drink in front of him, and he's kind of staring into it. Uh, Looks like he's deep in thought. And where are the other ones? Are we all? You know what we could really use here? Hold on one moment. Hmm. Okay, so that's not going to work here. We're just going to do. One of these, we're going to... Uh-oh, God, I wonder if I can do this. Hold on, we're going to try this real quick here. I don't want tokens, I want... Portraits. Tavern. I want to copy... That. Duplicate. Fantastic. Oh, except. Sorry, we're going to do this. This is not going to be. Tavern. This is now going to be. Wait, wait, wait. I can do this. I know how to do this. Map, background. Get lost. Zoom way out. Select. All. Oops, I'm on the wrong one. 
GM all and then maps. My friends, the fog has gotten so thick. Just a white boy. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, I can do this. Hold on, just one moment. I'd like to roll for perception to find the world. <laughs> Uh, I have 18 at the 20. So. <laughs> how, about, how about that one? That one looks good. Ah, oh, crap. We died again. Oh, darn. It's okay, guys. I'm just going to pop up in the house. Trust me. I've been here. I hope not. I hope you hop up outside the house. Yeah, you pop up in the, in the doorway. And I hold alt and I do. They, they, they burnt down, desiccate. Oh, God. What if it's still there? What if it's come back? There we go. That's much better. Now we have something to look at. How is that? Looks like another cat's butt. <laughs> All right, so we have things to look at. Fuck yeah. Uh, sorry. What was the? There was a question in there. You were asking about patrons. Uh, there are three. There's a. There's a. A lurch-looking motherfucker behind the bar. There's a dirty blonde guy staring into his glass, and there are three Vistani, whose names escape me real quick. Uh, they are. We don't really know them yet. You so do it not. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Save it for when we actually talk to them. <laughs> They're sitting at a table in the middle, laughing to themselves. Did we lose? We lost Don entirely, didn't we? It's possible. That sucks. So we're in the tavern, right? You are in the tavern. What do you do? Uh, as soon as you walk in, the three Vistani kind of look up at you, and they all see. They see the turtle. They see the Kenku. Uh, they see the dwarf. They do not see the human wizard who is off uh, real estate hunting in the village of Barovia currently. Let me turn it. Let me turn it on. They hear children. Children are bad. <laughs> My phone died. Oh. Uh, what do you do? Please describe your actions. Uh, uh, first thing. Oh, go ahead. Are, are there any empty tankards on any tables? There are not. Uh, the the establishment is mostly bare. There's a the like I described. There's the gentleman in the corner. Um, he has one. Uh, it appears that all of the hey look we got a dawn coming back. It appears that all of the other um, tables are are cleaned, ready for patrons to come. Uh, patron. Gotcha. Um, are there open tables, or is it just like a bar? Hey, there you are. Welcome back, sir. Um, can you see me, and can you hear me? I can hear you, and I can yes. see you, sir. Uh, there are multiple open tables. You're probably looking at about a dozen uh, tables um, all together in this establishment. Um one in the corner is occupied. Uh, one kind of center-ish is occupied, and the the barkeep. Obviously, there's uh, several stools. Let's say at least six stools at the at the at the bar that are unoccupied as well. I'm gonna walk over to one of the empty tables that is large enough to seat our party. Fantastic. Uh, sit down and signal for service. And do what? What? Say it again. Signal for service, like hey. Hey, Garcon, Garcon. Um, I need to order. Yeah, well, well, you're going to uh, well, you're going to find an actual place to sit. I'm just gonna wander straight up to uh, um, Lurch. Uh, I I'm gonna swing my bag around for a moment, shuffle around, pull out the arcane focus that I grabbed, uh, plop it down on the ca uh, on the counter, and go around for everyone, my good friend. If you're whatever this will pay for a stale. Um. <laughs> As you walk up, <laughs> if it's stale, as you walk up, he is uh, kind of cleaning a glass. He's looking down toward the bar, kind of cleaning a glass with a rag. Uh, it looks like he's been cleaning the gla same glass for quite some time. 
Uh, you approach, you say what you say, he slowly looks up at you, gives you the nod, turns very slowly, and kind of does one of these presenting, wait for it, he says, uh, good afternoon, young lady. What we have available are, oops, hold on, a glass of wine, which costs one copper piece, or a pitcher of wine, which costs one silver piece. What can I get for you today? My heart hurts that any establishment of this nature would not serve the golden brew. But if wine is all you have, I'll have a tankard, and in exchange, I offer this arcane focus, I offer this focus, because it seems like it's valuable, sell it at your leisure, I don't care what it's worth, as long as it's enough to pay for this picture, and whatever else it will pay for. We are not the bank. <laughs> One copper piece for a glass, one silver piece for a pitcher. I'm going to toss a, 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 a silver piece in front of the barkeep, right between uh, your, your autumn is your character name. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right between Autumn and the, the barkeep. At that moment, uh, a gentleman, uh, a dragonborn, pops out of the bathroom, realizes what's going on. With freshly washed hands. Exactly. <laughs> he was wearing his mask. It's okay. He's he's uh, social distancing properly. <laughs> no. Pops out, throws the silver piece down, you said, for the pitcher? Yes. The, uh, the lurch-looking motherfucker... He says, uh, ah, thank you. Uh, and that's all he says. And then he'll turn and he slowly grabs a pitcher and he slowly grabs this uh, cask of wine and he slowly pours the, the wine into, into the pitcher, takes the pitcher back up, slowly places it in front of you accepts the payment places the payment in his drawer underneath the counter somewhere picks the glass up that he was cleaning and begins to continue cleaning what's your name who me no the lurch <laughs> <laughs> my friends call me arthur shore no. <laughs> <laughs> but you can call me Eric with an A. I am the barkeep here, and if you recognize the subtle pauses in my canter, I also work at the DMV in Zootopia. I didn't ask <laughs> for your life story. <laughs> and at this point, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Let me... You, oh. I thank very much for the silver. I believe this is now yours. And I toss the crystal and I toss the crystal ball over to uh, um, the dragon board. Why did you get this? This was an artifact 
I think it's some kind of arcane focus that we found on a statue in an arcane ritual room <laughs> in a house which we have torched to high heaven. <laughs> Did you uh, have you uh, relieved the owner of his life or unlife? <laughs> uh, I look over to Rebel. How's the baby doing? Oh. <laughs> Sing, <Mom. laughs> we. <laughs> the owner. <laughs> At this strange noise, uh, the, ge the blondish gentleman in the corner, he kind of looks up to see what the hell is going on. Uh, recognizes what is your name, Pitzer? <laughs> recognizes that you guys are new to the town. Hasn't seen a turtle in quite some time. Certainly not this bird. Very strange indeed. Um... The three Vistani individuals continue giggling amongst themselves. They really don't give much of a shit about you at the moment. But I've gotten ahead of myself. I've handed you an object. You've handed me a payment. My name is Alton. What's yours? Uh, what is my name? What is your name? Should I just call you Wiz? I, I'm Tia. Broadcasting. Tia! Nice to and see another name. misfit amongst these humans. <laughs> I reach over and grab the art, the, uh, the the artifact, and palm it. You recognize that it's more it's a it's a bit of a crystal, a kind of a crystal orb. Uh, fits relatively, uh, looks a lot like the the orbs that uh, David Bowie had in Labyrinth. One of those chests. There you go. I thank you. And I turn to start turn to start walking away. What? I'd like to shout at him and say, "Hey, it doesn't seem like you're around from around here. Um, what brings you to these parts?" Probably the same thing that brings you. Oh, did a bunch of these jokers ask you to come into the mists as well? <laughs> I'm assuming that's how I got here to some degree. I would like you to describe in vast detail. Come, sit down at the table with these these individuals and describe your backstory. How did you arrive in this weird place? What strange what circumstances? Yes, let's all get up here. Let's all do one of these. ASL? <laughs> Tell us a story. Um, let's see. So I have to make this up. On the fly. Yes, the fly. that is your that is your punishment for not joining us at any previous game. And making my character at one in the morning. Yes, that's uh, it. I'll give you a few seconds to think while my character does one of these. Finds out that I spent my last money on the pie. Oh. Um, I'm going to put my baby who's in like a satchel and I'm going to look over and hand it to... Dosta, I'm going to say, what was the last thing you said? How's the baby doing? It's alive. Not helpful. It's <laughs> helpful gonna, enough. Haha, ha, fooled you. I'm going to hand it to you. <laughs> Push it on you. Please pull up your hands. And then I'm going to go over to where I would assume would be like a place that you know, I could be the center of attention. Mm. Um, and I'm going to try to perform to get some money. Uh, how do you go about this? You go over um, to a, a, a... Assuming that there's some sort of stage somewhere in this establishment. Let's see, what do we have in this picture? Uh, there's a yeah, cat, there's oh, an axe. There's a lot of clean tables. Just by, the, <laughs> by the hearth, maybe even, just like... You know, just standing over by. All right, all right, okay. I can dig it. Fire, kind of like a um area, and then uh, I'm gonna take out. <laughs> I, I don't know if I still wanted to do this, but yeah, you do. I'll you take do. out 
play my little accordion and play Weird Al songs. Yeah, which one? Which one do you start with? <laughs> yo, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this catches the attention finally of the three Vistani that are sitting at the uh, sitting at the table, uh, semi nearby, who didn't really give much of a shit about you until you started singing their this wonderful song by this Yankovic motherfucker. Uh, wait for it! Wait for it! They 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 stand up. They're they're ecstatic. They're ecstatic that they're that you're singing this song. This is something from their own childhood, and they start singing with you. Hey, yo 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 da. I met them in a swamp down in Dagoba. They don't the whole the thing. They know that they know the words. Do you want me to make a performance check? Oh, let's see how well you do. Do it with advantage if you would, since you're. <laughs> Uh, 17 plus 8 is pretty good, so... Yeah, 17 plus 8. Damn, plus whatever eight. That. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah uh, you, you kick ass. Um, they... Obviously, you guys just got a round of... Uh, a, a pitcher of wine at your table. But... They would be more than happy to continue getting you uh, shit-faced drunk. <laughs> well, I'm like... 15, 14... So I'm probably not going to get drunk, but I did want food, hey. something to pick at. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the first one, the first one that as soon as the song is over, the first one, Alenka, she kind of, she, she's got this crooked nose. She looks a little strange, but she's uh, very colorful, colorfully adorned. Uh, and she says, oh, it was, and, and, oh, she, apparently she sounds like a boy. She goes, oh, it's fantastic. Fantastica. A boop and a peppy. <laughs> We need we need uh, the hot dogs. We needed uh, the hot dogs. Barkeep, Eric, Eric the barkeep, bring us the hot dogs. And he looks up at you and he says, "We do not have the hot dogs. We have a glass of wine for one copper piece, or a pitcher of wine." For one silver piece. Alenka says, shut the fuck up! <laughs> hey, Eric, why don't I make a suggestion here? You call yourself the blood of the vine. Maybe try some blood sausage? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> a good point you make. I will add it to the inventory list for the next time I restock. And he goes back to cleaning the same fucking glass. I feel like the rabbit talking to a sloth. <laughs> uh, Mirabelle, the other Vistani, and Sorvia, they begin uh, checking out the feathers of this of this Kenku, they're they're all very happy about this. They still want some food. They're still ordering food. Uh, the gentleman in the corner, who do, 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 do the blondish gentleman in the corner, uh, stands up, picks up his glass, moves a couple tables inward, sits down next to Kith. Uh, oh, I can't even remember what your name is, Thea. Yeah. Who's Bangster? Who's Bangster? <laughs> Thea. Uh, moves in next to Theoth and uh, Autumn and kind of sits down. He says, I, I do hope that I'm not uh, intruding upon any kind of conversation here, but I I couldn't help but notice that you, you, a lot of you don't seem to fit in. Are you all a part of the same group? Uh, well, we appear to have come in, in separate groups, but uh, we might all be here uh, off of the same basic principle. Just one question for you. Yes, sir. Ma'am, sorry. Are, are you associated with a group of jokers outside the mists? I am not associated with anyone outside the mists. My place is here in the village of Barovia. All right, then I will hold you no ill will. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated, young lady. Um, if it's been a long time since I've seen 
a dragonborn or a bard and i don't think i've ever seen a i believe it's called a tortle is that correct yes what are your names if you don't mind i ask hi my name is rebel <laughs> hey you're talking to the vistani and eating hot dogs <laughs> Uh, my name is Dostov. From around here. Call, call me Autumn, like the season. <laughs> and you? And I am Tioth. Tioth. My name is Ismark. I am the Hello. son of the former burgomaster here in these in this in the village. Um, is there? What? Uh, I think I already asked. Does the one. burgomaster sell hot dogs? He sells burgers, as a matter of fact. He's a burger master. <laughs> master of those burgers. It's quite delicious. Um, if you don't mind me making an observation about your uh, wonderful town here, it seems very solemn and somber here. <laughs> These are the parts. You know, if you go, uh, if you go up to uh, Alaska, it's usually snowing. Here in Barovia, it's usually raining. It's kind of it's a lot like that fucking place Seattle. I hate that fucking joint. Is the fog normal or is this new? The fog is normal. It has been this way, as a matter of fact, as far as I know, for the last three hundred to seven hundred years, yeah, give or take. That's a, that's a big gap there. I know. Yeah. Otherwise, as far as we know, we were sent in, like I said, by a bunch of jokers that seem very much like you outside the mists. To hunt, uh, and I'm, and I say this quietly, werewolves. You've come for the werewolves. Werewolves. Their wolves. Their wolves. Their castle. I would like to uh, try and do like a sleight of hand, kind of touch my silver hammer to him to see if there's any reaction. Uh, it's cold, and he's questions your motives. But maybe it was just an accident. He pulls his hand away, but does not respond in any other way. Um, werewolves, he says. Werewolves are, in fact, a big problem in these parts. Uh, at least once a lunar cycle. You'll see many of them out on the road. They pass through, they pass through the gates uh, with almost a permission from that curse of Strahd. All right, now, where I come from, werewolves are a rare occurrence, where the idea of them strolling through anywhere would be subject of great, great interest, and this sounds like it's an everyday occurrence. Not quite every day, but it has happened frequently enough to that in the light of the full moon... The villagers know to hide their children. And where are we at in this lunar cycle right now? That is a really good fucking question <laughs> they didn't think about. <laughs> uh, and is it just the children, or do adults get named, taken, murdered? And many, many people do have disappeared. Uh, Due to the uh, due to the werewolves and the and the zombies, the Strahd zombies alike. Werewolves and zombies. I'm liking this place more all the time. And I like <laughs> whip out my uh, man. I whip out my mace a little bit and just sort of like heft it for a moment in my hand, test it, and just sort of testing the weight. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you have a. Uh, you have a uh, uh, luck on your side with that with that weapon. Uh, tell me though, how long are you planning to stay in the village? Is this going to be a a permanent stay? Tia. Sounds like it would be a lengthy endeavor because we were tasked to remove the werewolves. Oh, a removal of the werewolves would be great. Um, the villagers would appreciate it greatly. Unfortunately, I don't see how that's ever going to fucking happen. It's, uh... 
more than one werewolf at a time is is almost too much. You know, we're talking about a TPK here. I've lost. Uh, I've seen many adventurers come through here looking for the werewolves or the zombies or even the vampires that lurk nearby. You have very weird jargon. <laughs> I come from Florida. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I was not informed of zombies or vampires. I was informed of werewolves. And I feel like I need to uh, renegotiate my contract. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I can't renegotiate a contract for you. However, how about I alter the contract or I provide you with a new contract? Um the village, the village of Barovia, here. It's not safe. Well, considering that we came into a haunted mansion full of former child murderers and sacrificers, uh, I, I, I have gotten the impression that nothing here is safe, but that's generally true. That's generally true. Uh, there are... Sorry. That house does not scare me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it would sound to me like the eliminating one group would lead you to the next and to the next, and it, right. and domino the, the domino effect might ensue. It cascades. The it's much like the insect community. Uh, if you take away the mosquitoes, uh, all other bugs will consume. You know, if you take away the bees, the the trees die. It, it's a lot of that. So what you're saying is that the werewolf infestation is a natural part of the ecosystem here, and we should leave well enough alone and be done with these bugs. <laughs> What's currently predating on the werewolves? Say it again. What's currently predating on the werewolves? If this is a natural ecosystem, then there must be hunters and there must be prey. So what is currently making prey of the werewolves? Several hundred years ago. Allow me to go into a story and, and present you with a, a flashback, like in Wayne's World. They go... Doo -doo 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 they do one of those. Uh, several hundred years ago, he says, a uh, this uh, Barovia was in fact a... a a beautiful place to be, from what I understand, from what I've read. They've... Uh, a, a, a tyrant of sorts has taken over the land. Um, this tyrant... He... Was almost... Did they look like a dog? <laughs> no, he did not look like a dog. He, uh, uh, he was almost vampiric of sorts. Um, along with his tyranny the werewolves moved in the zombies approached uh the bees died out oh sorry yes but you just said that the zombies were there so why do we need the bees as, as we're going over the uh the cinematic it appears that our wizard has faded away and is buffering never mind he's back <laughs> oh, camera. he was doing oh, what you did last time he's he's taking it he's taking a bite of something <laughs> okay, gotcha. Um, to kill one, to kill one <laughs> would be fantastic. You would still have the others to deal with. All, unfortunately, all of these things—the the zombies, the 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 werewolves, the vampires—they we would need to kill. We would need to get them all simultaneously. Um, Is there a source? There are multiple, unfortunately. What I would have to offer instead, um, as I stated before, I am Ismark, the son of the former Bur Burgomaster. As unfortunate gotcha. B as B Ismark, B Ismark, is is my rapper name. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Ismark, and I'm here to say, um. And as I stated before, this is not a safe village to reside in. I cannot leave. Uh, oh, shit, I'm getting ahead of myself. My apologies. Uh, so, so, several days ago, the, the former Burgomaster, my father, passed away. Um, he is currently held down in the... Uh, 
shit. The mansion. Not in the shit. He is currently held down in the Burgomaster mansion on the south side of town. Um, his body is currently there. I need my sister, my, my stepsister, Irina. I need her escorted out of here, and I cannot leave. I must take up the reins that my father once held here. Can I, I take a moment and I like make a real quick test to see whether or not he'll shy away from me grabbing his hand with both of mine. And if he doesn't, I'm going to grab his hand. I'm just going to go, thank you for not asking us to go into another mansion. (laughs) 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 Uh, you said you said you uh, you went you burned burned a, a mansion to the ground recently. I, I'm assuming you must, of course, mean the Durst Manor up the road. Uh, the Durst dust pile, the Durst bonfire, uh, uh, numerous new names would apply. Assuming it doesn't also regenerate. <laughs> it's a strange place. You might see it again. Um... However, my sister, Irina, I would need her escorted to another town, to a nearby town, outside of the reach of the, the tyrant Strahd, who, you, perhaps you've seen the, the castle on the, on the, the, the hill uh, overlooking the village of Barovia. That is where that stupid fucking tyrant resides. Always watching. Always waiting. If I had bothered to pay for a sketch artist to come along with me, I would have definitely had a portrait with it. <laughs> you gotta get the the D and D equivalent of Bob Ross up in here. We <laughs> put some really sad looking trees over here, and oh, how about a sad looking cloud? <laughs> um. What say you? Well, I personally am all up for the, uh, what I consider a casual mission of escorting someone out of the town after what we just went through. (laughs) But we've had a new person to the table, who I'm not entirely sure wants to join us just yet. (laughs) What do you think about all this? This is compensation. Oh, you and your money. (laughs) I don't need money. Items are also acceptable. <laughs> Fine art. Travels do not come free, all you tchotchkes. <laughs> the tchotchkes. Uh, were you not uh, the, the, the f- four, how many of you? Four of you? The four of you. Sorry, Maria, you're just going to have to wait over there with the Vistani. The four of you, I'm, ass- I'm assuming. Uh you 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 didn't you didn't know each other all previously uh you said you all came in from different places uh, how long have you known each other we're we're becoming brothers in arms essentially uh me and uh, uh the uh, rebel over there i waved a rebel <laughs> uh <laughs> the vistani are over there and they're like they're pawing at you and they're clapping and singing la 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 lasagna we were sent in by a group of your brethren outside the mist to try and do something about the werewolves, which I am more and more thinking might have been a ploy. Hmm. Uh, we met up with uh, Nostoth and his uh, human friend who is currently out real estate searching, which is probably... It sounds like not the best idea for this town. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we just met uh, less than a day ago, really. Uh, we explored a mansion, burned it to ashes, and proceeded here into the town. As for um, Theoth, sorry. The, the yes. Dragon as for, yes, yes. As, as for Theoth, we met him in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 this is, is like this is way. oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is like you, it, like somebody just walked into the bathroom with Andy Dick, and you're like, "There's only two reasons that somebody goes into a bathroom with Andy Dick." 
And they're like, God, I hope he's doing drugs. Jesus. <laughs> so you'd have to let us know how long you've known Theoth. <laughs> uh, or as, alternately, I, Theoth, how long have you known the Vistani? <laughs> unfortunately, Theoth and I have not met uh, formally until just now when I approached the group. Uh, Theoth, where, where did you come from? How did you enter the mists? If I may be so bold to ask. My church sent me. Interesting. Which Oh, uh, another holy one. <laughs> uh by which god do they uh do they represent? No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's a good day. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wink and twiddle my Saloon artifact with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh two, two holy individuals with us today. Interesting, interesting. Um, with such a, with such a, uh, uh, oh shit, I don't know the right word here. Um, nope, I don't know it. Um, yeah, I, the, the fact that you guys are, 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 are both of, of holy, uh, shit, where's my coffee? Hold on a minute here. <laughs> now hold one moment no one ever said I was holy <laughs> I was sent by the church sent by the church my apologies um, <laughs> perhaps with, with righteousness there we go with righteousness on your side I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. A, 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 another a, a, another individual of faith yes my apologies <laughs> uh, with such righteousness on our on your side I I would hope that you'd be able to ward off anything, uh, anything horrible uh, to happen if you were infected. To accept the the mission of protecting my stepsister Irina, I, Iran, I, I uh, whatever her goddamn Karen, her my stepsister Karen. Uh, you said Irina. I did. There it is. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> If there's two, we're charging more. <laughs> it's double payment. I don't care about the money, but I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if this is something that we could, uh, that I could possibly count on you, uh, I, I, I couldn't pay you much. It's possibly maybe up to 30, 30 gold entirely. We don't have a lot here, unfortunately. Hey, Rebel, want to help with an escort? La, 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 lasagna. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> Am I still singing? Are you not? Uh, oh, it's well, your choice. I'll pause, because I, I... I think I heard my name. Uh, I think yes. <laughs> no. They uh, the the Vistani that were singing with you go over to the bar, uh, demand another cask of of wine from from Eric uh, or Arthur Shore, whichever one you want, whatever his name is. <laughs> um. And they wait for him to slowly do it all. Uh, give them more. Uh, what does Rebel say? She says yes, it sounds like. Can I take a sip of my wine just to determine whether or not it's warm wine or not? Uh, Is it a cold wine or a warm wine? I don't know. Uh, let's say it's warm-ish. Oh, thank God. That's the only way it's going to work with this bartender. <laughs> huh? That's the only way it's going to work with this bartender. Yeah, I don't think he has much of a freezer. Oh. Oh. We lost a, we lost a rebel. She's rebelling. Um, looks like she's working on it. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you, uh, uh, Ismark, Ismark is, is pleased. He's, he's, he's. Uh, whenever you're done drinking, he would love to introduce you. I would love to introduce you to my sister, Irena. 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 Whatever the hell her name is. I've only known her for 30-something years, you know. I, I, and where would we find her, and where will we be del delivering her? Well, as a matter of fact, she is currently with the corpse of my father in the Burgomaster's Mansion, just at the south side of town. Uh, not too far of a walk. Strictly um, on the up and up? Say it again. 
Strictly on the up and up. Strictly on the up and up. Uh, the I I would I was hoping that she could be delivered to the town of Valaki, Valaki, however it's pronounced. Let me show you where that is. As soon as I find the damn map, there it is. Bink. Wait for that thing to load. I'm not sure how well it's loading for everybody else, but it's slow as hell on my end. Yay! I think we missed most of everything. I made an observation about whether or not it was warm or cold wine because there was no way anyone was getting any cold with how slow Lurch uh, serves everything. Uh, uh, beyond that, uh, we've been uh, basically uh, detailed a little bit further that Arena is currently at the with the corpse of the Burgomaster and we're being uh, currently given a basic idea of where they want us to deliver her. Nice. Funny side story, it's not actually wine. It starts out as regular grape juice behind the bar. It just takes him that long. Yes, exactly. <laughs> He's got some Kool-Aid back there that has been fermenting for a while. Um, if you're According looking at... My, my map is finally loaded. If you're looking at this map, uh, the town... Uh, I'm sorry, the village of Barovia is, as a matter of fact, here where I'm trying to make this, this ping. Um... The town oh, okay. is, as a matter of fact, on the other side, way on the other side, over by Lake Zarovich. If you're all singing, seeing that ping currently. Now, is it a Zarovich or a Zarovic? I have always okay. pronounced it with a hard C. Much like, uh, much like that tyrant, Strahd von Yankovic, but... Yes, so this, so uh, it's, oh, I'm sorry, say it again. That's Barovia where you're pinging? No. Oh. Uh, Barovia is, is on the uh, right-hand side of the map in the in the large clearing underneath the Svalic Woods. Okay. We're down here. Zara Fitch is up here. Right here. But, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, underneath Lake Zarovic with the hard C. Look at all those pings. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> um, that would be ge the general direction. Now it is on the other side of this right here. This is, of course, the 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 Strahd's castle that he uh, he overwatches our our Selma village from. He can see it all. I was hoping that you'll see this this road that kind of goes down along the. Uh, outside of the village of Barovia and kind of goes to a southwest direction and then winds itself past everything over toward Valaki. Whoa, what is going on over there? The one that goes over the bridge, through the woods, and to Grandmother's house? To Grandmother's house you go. Um, it would probably be a two-day hike. Uh, if... Uh, there's a near the near the Seer pool. You'll see uh, this small lake outside of the village of Barovia. There is an encampment of Vistani. That is a perfect place to stop for the evening if you were to leave in the morning. Uh, Sorry, are you describing this as, uh, to us as the GM or as uh, um, our Vistani uh, 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 friend? I am describing this as if you were talking with Ismark and looking at a map. But it's coming across as metagaming. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing I mean, my best it, here. <laughs> it's fine if he just rolled out a map. I'm fine. I just wanted to establish. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He says, is Mark. He says, yes, uh, I, I am not the DM. I am just an NPC. <laughs> Again, your jargon is so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if this is acceptable, uh, fantastic. I would love to introduce you to my to my stepsister, Irina. So you're saying it's a day's journey from the, the village that's there on the right? It would be the, a, a day's journey from the village of Barovia. Uh, to the encampment by the pool. To the, the encampment lake. by the pool. 
and then another day's journey, which it doesn't really look like it would be, but another day's journey to Valaki. Yeah, okay. You say now, so. all, all of these little slats down there, is that actually just embellishment on the map, or has somebody actually gone through and installed little wooden slats along the entirety of Barovia? What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about all these? <laughs> It's railroad, of course. <laughs> this is where the Northern uh, California Railroad comes through. This is all the twists and turns it's going to make once they once they finally connect the line. <laughs> is this what Strahd has been doing with the last century, just installing lots of miniature railroads all across Barovia? He has a lot of investments in a lot of places, yes. A lot of fingers and a lot of pies. <laughs> There's no finger hole in this pot. He better not put his finger. In there my might pie. be some crows. You got to watch out for rebel because there might be some crows in one of those pies. Um, he does. He does uh, ask. Let's let's take you back to the tavern. Unless you guys are still looking at this map. I'm going to request that we take the map with us. Oh. I think I can accommodate you for that, or that for you. E somewhere. Yes, can we have uh, either a copy or this long-fought and sought-for cartographic masterpiece yes. that is probably your only one? In <laughs> in your uh, journal tab, uh, as Mark says, because he, of course, knows what a tab is, in your journal tab, you'll find the um, the areas of Barovia, yeah. the map in there. Uh, it should be in your in your inventories, plural. Each one of you should be able to have a map there. Oh, it's even a DM map because it's got like letters and stuff. What? Oh, do you see all the letters too? Yes. Well, shit. We know what areas to avoid, so we're good. We should be there. Yes. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I see. Road and cut across. We should be pretty clear. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, what say you? Is that is that acceptable? Well, I'm up for an escort mission. I would like to know whether or not there's anything uniquely available in this town, goods-wise, before we leave, and how quickly you need us to set off, but otherwise... Um, as quickly as you need to set off would be as quickly as Ir Irina would be uh, ready. Uh, it could be as early as this evening. Um, as far as goods in this damn place, uh, Bethildra's Mercantile, sorry, Bildrath's, Jesus, apparently I can't read anymore, Bildrath's Mercantile, uh, is the place to go, uh, I certainly hope you have the coin to, to pay. Oh, highly unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a stealthy hand. I mean, possibly, I think potions would be more of a thing since, uh, given our last encounter, <laughs> I may be able to do magical healing and the like, but uh, having a spare potion in hand is never a bad thing. It's very true. Uh, the three Vistani individuals that you were singing with, Rebel, Finally come back over with another uh, another pitcher of wine. They're pouring drinks for y'all, the whole table. They're really excited to get you guys just fucked up. Uh, they they go over to this to this uh, to this turtle and they start pawing at this at his armor. They start pawing at his back, and uh, the the third one, Sor Sorvia, uh, she actually kind of wraps her arm around you. Uh, she's very interested in, in uh, seems very interested in you entirely. Um, the the middle the middle child Mirabelle she's actually going to take on the uh, she's going to take on this dragonborn she's going to kind of go over there check out uh, these scales check out these horns dem horns though is what she says how you doing buddy. Uh, Alenka is going to stick around with uh, stick around with uh, uh, rebel. She's she's very excited to see a feathered friend. Um, not today, no, lady. Not today. <laughs> but I'll I'll watch all of this and I'll go. 
very, very low standard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, sorry, Mirabelle. Mirabelle went after. Uh, she hears you. She hears you say, "Not today." Uh, she said, "Oh, oh, but I've never seen such a such a uh, 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 elaborately scaled gentleman. My goodness, where, where you you must be a dragonborn." Is I've heard so much about you. Please, please, can I? Perhaps I could take you uh, into the room and show you how interested I am in your species. As I said, lady, not today. Yeah, shit. She uh, kind of. What do we say to the god of sex? Not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> uh, she kind of removes her hands, uh, still trying to smile, backs away slowly. Uh, goes and joins her sister Sorvia and wraps her other arm around the other side of the turtle instead. And he is gone and he is not. There you go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there he's right here. Hello. 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 <laughs> She's wrapping her arms around you. Yeah, so you have two sisters on you, sir. You have Mirabelle and Sorvia who are pawing at you and your shell and are very interested in, in showing you a really good night. I'm going to simply pretend that I do not understand their ways and their words and I can do it and just kind of meander on. <laughs> Invite her into your home, dog. <laughs> show them, show them. You, you get your phone out, you're like, oh, hello? Oh, you need me to go somewhere right now? Okay, well, I guess I gotta go. Yeah, I'll meet you there. I'm sorry. Call me Ugwe. <laughs> we'll just simply say in Aquan to them so they won't understand it. Just start talking to them in Aquan about yeah about random stuff that they won't understand. About uh, the weather. Just saying, uh, my head, and then just kind of exit stage left. <laughs> stage right, even. Um. Alenka pawing at this bird, pawing at Rebel. She would like to sing another song. And she seems to be getting a little bit closer, like she is also interested in showing you how interested you are to her. Don't do that. <laughs> Wait, is this something that you that you already heard? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't do that. I oh no, you just heard it. That's right. Don't do that. No, it's only about the Aquan Oh, no, I'm not going to repeat your Aquan gargles. I see what you're talking about there. <laughs> it sounds like sand people. They're like... <laughs> exactly. That is exactly what Aquan sounds like. Yeah. Uh, what would you guys like to do next? May I ask? Uh, what time is it? Is it like midday, evening? Uh, I'm going to assume that it's evening. Uh, if these three lovely Vistanis uh, were attempting to take you away for the evening, for the night, and <laughs> incapacitate you in all manner of ways... Um, I mean, it was already described that uh, there were columns of light shooting out of the windows through the mist and the darkness as we entered the place, so it's kind of got to be night. Yeah, it's 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 dark, it's night-ish. We'll say somewhere up in there. Uh, what what what? Which direction would you like to go next with this? Uh, knowing knowing that the that uh, there are things that go bump in the night in the night here hmm. uh, uh and uh I, I suggest we just we get the sister stepsister and head out to sweet it's always fun to rush into danger <laughs> fantastic do you want to take a rest and leave in the morning uh, i'm gonna take you back to the village map here however long that takes to load oh that came right up right on so you're looking at the village map you are currently in the center of this map if you see where i'm pinging here the burgomaster is at the very south side of town 
way down below. You see where I'm pinging now? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, it's not too far of a walk, maybe 10 minutes away. Uh, if everybody's accepting, that would be a great... I believe that we should... Oh, I agree with the author. We should probably, at the very least, uh, speak with her and see where she's at in the whole thing. But I would probably recommend, uh, unlike the author, I might recommend we leave in the morning. We're taking watch, turns watching to make sure nothing happens to her in the meantime, if uh, she's agreeable. Yeah. Let's, uh, Ismark pipes up. He says it's an excellent idea. Um... Though the, the, the light of day under the dim, this uh, thick cloud lever, layer uh, isn't always much better than nighttime. It certainly is, you know, it certainly is better. Hey, I like it more is what hey. it is. All right. Um, yes, and he, he'll pound his drink, slams the cup down on the table, uh, and says, as soon as you're ready, let's do this. Let me, let me introduce you to my sister, my, to my stepsister, Irina. lead the way on that note we're gonna take a pause here i think is a great idea um <laughs> quick bathroom break i'm gonna get oh. some nicotine in me put some more coffee in my bloodstream or the other way around